Facial bone implants, they can be done in isolation, but they're also really excellent adjuncts to be done during jaw surgery. So we know that repositioning the jaws can have a very powerful effect on the aesthetics in the tooth position and the balance of where the upper jaw bone is, the lower jaw bone is, the projection, tightening the chin throat distance and angle, and especially doing this with genioplasty concurrently. However, in some patients, we know that there's asymmetry from one side to the other, or the jawbone is underdeveloped and uh, creating a nice angular component or angular definition and a shadow along the jawline is preferred and is the aesthetic that we're looking for. So these can be really nice adjuncts to doing that and placing that at the time of jaw surgery. So when we do this, we'll typically have a 3D plan for the orthognathic surgery. And in that plan, we can look at and manipulate the bone itself and understand where the bone will end up. And then we want to plan our implants based on that final orthognathic position. We don't want to plan that based on the pre-orthognathic position or pre-op position, but we want to do it post-operatively, the post-op position, but do it at the time of jaw surgery. In common places that we'll do it is the inferior border of the jaw, jaw angle, as well as the cheeks, the malar, the infraorbits, uh, and this can be done really nicely concurrent with jaw surgery. So thanks for listening. If you have any other questions, please check us out on our website, uh, www.derricksteinbacher.com. Thanks again.